Exotics fam, welcome to the channel. My name is Jeff. And my name is Maddox. And today, we've got some hungry spiders. So they need to eat, because they're hungry spiders. So stick around and let's get into it. So, as Maddox said today, we've got some hungry spiders. But not only do we have some hungry spiders, we've got some hungry lizards, we've got some hungry saltwater fish, and some hungry scorpions. So we are gonna feed everything, we are gonna show you guys all the animals we have in our collection, and do a little maintenance while we're at it. We'll probably have to fill up some water bowls or whatever, but we're gonna show you guys what it really takes to maintain a collection of over 70 animals. Here we go. most aggressive spiders that we're seeing in our feeding video to see if music affects the feeding, which will be linked right up here. But they each only got a small meal during the week, so we are going to finish their feeding for the week. Up first, we've got our Xenetsis. No. Oh, wait, those Pamphlobidia species, nigger color. And <laughs> see, when I said aggressive, I meant aggressive. Up next, we've got our Tilicicato albopilosis, Colombian curl hair tarantula. Again, just caught it out of the air. Up next, we've got my personal favorite to watch eat, a Phonocoma simani, striped knee tarantula. Oh, that was kind of soft compared to the others, but still. Up next, we've got our Theraphosa sturmi. This is the largest tarantula in the world, Goliath bird eater. Oh, I hear that crunch. Straight into the head. All right, some of these guys' water dishes were a little bit empty, so whoops. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me take the spray off of that. He's like attacking the water here. He attacks water anyway. True. But we're going to go ahead and fill up their water a little bit. Make sure we actually check their water dishes every single night, just about. But uh. for some reason, we have some animals that their water evaporates within 30 minutes of putting it in there. It's really weird. And then, because the Sturmies really like the extra humidity, this is a bioactive setup, and we like to spray extra water in there just to make sure that the humidity stays up. Up next, we've got Terranoculus marinus OBT. And he's pretty shy, but he's got some webbing, so we're gonna try and tong feed him. Drop it. Death wish. Up next, we've got our Pandanus Imperator, or Emperor Scorpion. And I'm just gonna throw a quick in, in his general direction. You can see his pinchers right there by his hide. 10 of 10 toss. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's another one anyway, so I'll be right back. Okay, we got Dad to the rescue, who's going to try and tongue feed him because he's got long arms. I do not. This is our Grandma Solopulcra. She does not come out of her burrow very often. She might not be hungry. She may be in a primo. I don't know. I don't really see her come out. Oh, there she is. <laughs> As you said, she doesn't ever come out. So she's really pretty. Got that dark, dark black. 
All right. This is our heteromatrix spinifer, Asian forest. I'm gonna try to tongue feed this guy. Like the most gentle way I've ever seen a scorpion grab food. Oh, he didn't grab didn't it. Grab food. <laughs> this is our bearded dragon, TC, and he loves roaches, so he hasn't had some in a couple days. That crunch. Just give him one or two more. In a second after he finishes eating. There we go. Okay. <coughs> the great escape. And there's Squirt. He's got a few greens left over in his cage that will have to come out tonight if he doesn't need them, but figured we'd uh, film him. He's doing great, eating like a champ. Uh, I would say he's growing really fast, but uh, it's a sulcata tortoise, so they grow really slow. So <laughs> he's about the same size as he was when we got him, but still adorable. All right, so this is a couple of our Pac-Man frogs. Uh, we don't really see them eat. We don't really see them do much of anything. Um, <laughs> you can see that they're pretty much mostly buried. So we just kind of throw a couple crickets in there and the crickets just disappear. So I've already put some in there. Now we're gonna throw a couple into the bigger guy's cage and uh, we just keep an eye on them. And if they're still there tomorrow, we just take them back out. But that doesn't usually happen. We just don't ever see them eat. I don't know. <laughs> oh my, grab a cricket. Okay, there we go. They, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they, I mean, people talk about watching their Pac-Mans eat and whatever, but we've tried to tong feed them. We've tried a bunch of different stuff. These guys, they eat, they're happy, they're healthy, they're alive, but we don't ever see them actually eat, which is kind of weird. All right, this is our Samopanus Armenia. I'm going to actually try to tong feed this guy, but you can see he's got a nice little burrow back here. Um, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Um... This is a nice little bioactive setup. The uh, pothos plant's not doing so great, but uh, you can see there's plenty of substrate in there to burrow. It's nice, damp, full of springtails. Nice mm, she's coming. Kind of. All right, well, I missed the takedown, but she's definitely got a cricket in her mouth. I don't know if you can see that or not. This stupid sticker back here. But uh, yeah, she's a really, really beautiful spider, but you know, she stays hidden most of the time. But that's cool, we love her. All right, this is our Heteroscoger maculata, the HMAC. This is a very fast African species. I'm gonna try to see if I can get him. He, he hangs out right around at this hole a lot in the cork park, which is exactly what we wanted to happen. But I don't know. Oh, maybe. I'll let this thing go. See what happens. Well, I officially cannot see anything, so. Assume that cricket is no longer alive. This is our tailless whip scorpion. This is the African tailless whip scorpion species. He is really awesome looking, kind of like a crazy crab. Completely harmless to humans. Like we could handle it, no, no problem. Yeah, we've never seen him eat. Just going to be an interesting ordeal. No, we don't want it. All right, this is our Deathstalker Scorpion. Might not be hungry. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. This is a pretty big cricket for him, so I don't know. He might not. 
They might not be interested. Going the wrong way, dude. <laughs> not today. Oh. All right, Theraphosa apophysis. Molted recently. I think he's only had one meal since his molt. So let's see how he, how he does. Oh, chased oh. it down into the cork bark. Nice. Yeah, just kind of ripping into it like a dog with a new toy. Little happy dance. Our Brocky Palma Hamore, we're actually not gonna feed him because as you can see, his abdomen is massive, but uh, we're gonna get him out, show him off a little bit because really, really pretty and I needed to fill up his water bowl anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, get his moss all soaked down. <laughs> Aggressive little bugger. All right, this is our 12 Brazilian red scorpions and we just threw a bunch of little crickets in there. So hopefully we can get some footage That's of them. That's not a little cricket. Why was it with the little ones? These things are. Oh, look, we got one down here. He's getting one. Yeah, these things are actually pack hunts, which is adorable to watch. Up oh, right there, too. Aggressive little things. This is our Lassie Adora Periabana. Salmon pink bird eater. Uh, we got this thing at about a quarter inch, third inch maybe mm -hmm. sling, and he's about three fourths of an inch now. Yeah, maybe an inch. See if he takes anything. Oops, cricket under my arm. <laughs> now it's not in the cage. Thank you. Oh, first. No interest. Oh, there Just we go. Kidding. Never mind. <laughs> Took him a minute. All right, so I don't know. We, we might not actually get a shot of this guy, but uh, this is our Ethibopus cyanathus. Um, I have a blue fang tarantula. I don't know. I haven't seen him come out in a while. We think he's in a pre -molt. We think he's in a pre -molt. He's kind of webbed up the entrance to his little den here. But uh, I don't know. I'm going to take a cricket. I'm going to try to tongue feed it. See if he will see if he'll come out. Super cool tarantula. Yeah, I don't know. Try it over on the other side here. He used to tong feed her pretty good, but well, darn. Uh, fortunately, there is a video of us feeding him that is up on our page and I'm gonna go ahead and link it above. All right, Zenesis species intermedia. Pounced on that cat. As Wyatt at Chaotic Exotic would say, instant kill. All right, this is the Omothymus violacepes, Singapore blue. She's usually a pretty good tongue feeder too, so we'll see if we can get her to come out. Here. Oh, let's leave this cricket here and see what it is. I think it went in the hole. The cricket? Yeah. The cricket's right here. Oh, I'm blind. I don't know. She could not be she could be in a pre-mold too. I don't know. I haven't seen her in a day or two. Alright, it looked like she was starting to come out, so we're gonna try this again. There we go. Fast. Yeah, she don't mess around, man. All right, this is a Postalotheria regalis. Indian ornamental. Cool. Right into her mouth. This is the Shromit Palma calciatum. Uh, Ever since we rehoused him into this enclosure, we don't really, we haven't really seen him much. 
Um, he usually kind of hangs out back behind here, but I haven't really been able to even see him down in here a whole lot. So I don't know, we're just gonna kind of throw a cricket in here, but we did say we were gonna kind of show the whole collection today. I personally do not like irritating tarantulas and pulling them out of their hiding spots just to try to get footage of them. Um, I know that it makes for better content, but I don't believe that it makes for better tarantula keeping. So we're just gonna throw some food in here and probably just move on with the video. All right, Caribbean Versicolor. Still a small little sling. I'm gonna try to put a cricket down in here. See if I can, uh... oh, did I drop it? Yeah, right in front of him, but you might not be hungry. He hasn't molted in a while and these typically grow and molt pretty fast. This one has been for sure. So but you can see the super pretty blue colors on it. Actually, I don't know if you can. Maybe mm. from that side better. Yeah, a little bit better. This is our hottie hottie purple earth tiger. She's again still a little sling, so we're gonna give her a smaller one. She's not that little. Not that big. But she's still small enough to a point where she's burrowing, but these are really pretty deep purple arboreals when they get big. Well that didn't work out too well, did it? Oh. Hold on. She's tricky. The hottie hottie decided to come out. She's hunting right now. A little hard to see because she blends in. Oh, there she is. Nice takedown. All right, this is our Pseudoclomorus burgessi, the ghost tree spider. Uh, we had no idea really anything about this species when we got it, but he's been a really, really cool one to keep. Um, I enjoy having him a lot. But he doesn't look to be hungry today. A lot of times when we move their enclosures to put them on this table to try to get good film of it, it like freaks them out and they go down into their hides and uh, makes it tough to film them, but oh well. So our Formigo Kyla species Rufus uh, molted about four or five days ago and I haven't really seen it come out since, so I don't know if this is gonna work or not. It could be one of those hottie hottie type situations where it comes out later. <laughs> and so we'll have to keep an eye on it and see if we can get it on film when it comes out. So our Samopeus Pulker, Panama Blonde. He's back behind the cork. I know he blends in pretty well, but he's got those peach colored feet. Well, legs, I guess, more so than feet. I'm gonna try and tongue feed him. He's a little shy. Oh, not that shy. <laughs> right in his mouth. Like a dog with a treat. All right, this is the Ornithic Donerne species Central Mendano. We actually have an unboxing video up of this guy, which I will link above if you would like to see him. That wow, that didn't work very good, did it? Covered in webs. Okay, we are just gonna drop him down in here and see what happens when he starts moving around. I don't know if He's like see. right here, I don't know. Yeah. He's kind of made a little burrow. He's still adjusting. We haven't had him very long, so we're probably just gonna leave this cricket in here and see what he does. But he is starting to build some webbing up in here. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's gonna be really pretty when he gets bigger. So this is one of our five GBBs. Uh, I don't know if Maddox got the actual tackle. I think I did. Take down. I got most them. of it at least. Yeah, so they're awesome, awesome species to have. Super pretty, did. they web a lot. Aggressive eaters, all good things. This is our Signor, Signorith Nathith Jose. <laughs> I can't talk. Um, this is another new one. We got this one at the same time as the uh, Central Mindano. I don't know if it's gonna come out and eat. It's only eaten once for us. We haven't had him for very long. So we put a cricket in there and we're just gonna kind of see what it does. But um, 
No promises. He usually hangs out back here. I think his little burrow's back here in this hole. So, I don't know if the cricket walks over there. Then we'll get some footage, but if not, it doesn't look like he's coming out right now. Wonder if I can put the cricket back there. Oh, there we go. No, not having it today, huh? All right, this is another little, this is our small Somalpaeus Romania. I don't know, we're gonna try to, try to get it to come out from his little hide back here with a cricket. Go on, there we go. This little thing to move around. Man, nothing wants to eat today. Well, that's not true. We've gotten a lot of really good feeding clips today, but typically if we're not filming, we just drop crickets in here and walk away. So it takes us, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to feed everything as opposed to 30, 45 minutes to film it all. But, oh well. All right, sea elegans, typically a pretty good eater. I'm gonna go ahead and just, pop. Well, there you go, right away. Look how pretty that thing is. Man, it's got that nice heart on his butt. Just super bright colors. It's a dwarf species, so I mean it'll get bigger than this, but they don't get very big. Um, I think they st st typically stay around two and a half to three inches. But just look at the color on that thing. It's awesome. Love having this guy. All right, Kylo Brachius, species electric blue. He's been kind of hanging out near the top lately, so I'm going to drop a cricket down in there and see if we can get him to come out. There he goes, nice. Good takedown. All right, this is our Colombian purple and gold. You can see how tiny that thing is. This is the size of the bottle that that's in. So this is still scavenging. Um, you can feed these guys. Um, Pinheads, fruit, fruit flies and stuff. I don't like trying to get fruit flies. They jump all over the place and I don't like trying to get them in these little pill vials. So we just take cricket legs off of large crickets and drop it in there like a nice little chicken wing and he will just scavenge that. Brachypelma erratum, Mexican filet me. Missed. Whoops. <clears throat> I hate crickets. Another one that's still kind of in a pill vial, so I don't know. Oh, he might be in a pretty Yeah, little. well, he might also be a little bit small for that cricket. That cricket's almost as big as he is. <laughs> yeah, he's just getting defensive. Okay, well, yeah, he probably isn't a primo. Look at that. But, little butt. A little nondu crematus is in here. Um, don't see him right now, and he's really little, so I don't want to like pull him out of his hide. But we kind of do the, we're doing the same thing with him. We're just giving him large cricket legs right now. Full disclosure: we also don't ever see him at all. No, the cricket so. legs just disappear. <laughs> Rocky Pelham Bowman, it's a Mexican fire leg. It is in a primo right now, so we are actually not gonna feed it. In fact, we tried to feed it last time and ended up having to pull the cricket back out. So we are just patiently waiting for it to molt before we try to feed again. All right, white spotted assassin bugs. These things have been known to jump onto the tongs to try to get a cricket. So, I don't know. Not today, huh? Of course, you're on camera, right? We talked about it in our other video. Like, they don't always perform the way we want them to. These so, things, they never perform the way we want them to. No, these things, like, I, they, they they're suck. really cool to watch you eat, but. They suck. No, they don't. They, they suck on camera. Yeah. They're freaking awesome to keep, but they definitely don't perform on camera. Although, they are really pretty with the black and yellow and white. But, yeah, typically we just uh, drop a couple crickets in there. And... Wait, I think you got one on the other side of the cork. Oh, no, it didn't. You just kind of drop crickets in there and let them crawl around on the cork and then... They're a pack, they share, so. Yeah, they just kind of do their thing. Okay, this is our unidentified scorpion. If you do know what this is, we would appreciate you leaving a comment to let us know. I think he got a sting in. 
Oh, oh, I missed. It's like an epic battle. I know. This little cricket is like so jumpy, like. Accept your fate, you're not getting out. I lost the cricket. He wants to find it though. He sure does. Scorpion pretty quick, actually. Oh, well, that cook is dead. Enjoy your meal. All right, this is our little, our little OBT. And I saw him go back in here. I'm gonna try to get him to come out. That it's cricket like is like course. all over in that webbing, yeah. It's like an obstacle course. Of stickiness and death. Hmm. Hmm. Guess he's not gonna come out. Oh wait, maybe. Let's see, can you see can you see him? Yeah, look. It's right there. Alright, well, so you go back in the burrow. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna leave this cricket in there to play. Okay, so this is one of our five GBBs, another one, I guess, technically. And he actually just freshly molted. Well, not freshly molted, but we opened up his cage and we found a molt. And look, I mean, look at, at that abdomen. It's a really gorgeous spider. Oh, here you did. It's our little baby veiled chameleon back here. Max is gonna try to do some some hand feeding. hand feeding. She's been doing really good with hand feeding. She just might not be hungry today. She usually skips one or two feedings a week and fortunately it happens on weekends. Oh, we got lucky today. <laughs> Never gets old. All right, update on our little uh, gastrophallus pristina pair. You can only see one of them right here, but they are actually both down in there. I don't know if you can see the other head back there, but they have just been shacking up in this little tube together for a while. But I'm gonna see if I can get them to tong feed on the tube. You can see their two tails coming out of the other side. Um, I'm not really sure like what, they haven't come out to bask or anything. So I have a feeling that there might be some uh, sexy time going on. All right, let's see if she comes out, wants to come out and eat. No, not today. See, if she's getting ready to lay eggs, she's not gonna come eat. So, doesn't surprise me. I'm just gonna stop disturbing them and let them do their thing right now. All right, All right. So this is our Peter's Banded Skink, and he loves roaches, and I play a little game with him where I'll just send a roach flying right into his mouth. She loves it. She's munching down. Hear that crunch. You gonna give her another one? Mm, sure, why not? Oh. <laughs> the little penguin one was adorable. Wow. I don't know what she's trying to get, but she's trying to get it big time. <clears throat> All right, I almost forgot our little avicularia, avicularia, pink toe. Uh, she gets up back kind of in this corner of the background, so I don't know if she's gonna come out and grab this guy right now or not, but we're gonna see. Is she back there? Oh, 
All right, so the last thing that we're gonna feed today is our 75 gallon mixed saltwater reef tank. So I always turn the pumps off so that the food kind of falls down so that the snails and crabs and all the stuff down in the bottom will get everything they need. Um, and we feed LRS Fish Frenzy and Reef Frenzy. They already know. They already know. You see how smart these things are. They know where they know they're getting fed. It's one spot fox face right there, always right there. Yeah. You can see the, the big marine beta back there with the polka dots is coming to get something. It only goes to the big chunks though. Yeah. Get an overhead view of the anemones. <clears throat> These are our Inferno bubble tip anemones. Um, and I usually try to give all of them a little bit of food directly. My window's gonna steal it though. Yeah. Just to make sure. The clownfish will typically feed them, but you know, I this way I know all the anemones are getting fed this way. Let me get this little tiny anemone down in here. Little green bubble tip, super tiny. Yeah, he's like doesn't come out very much. Down here we got our engineer Gobi. You can see him start poking his head out. There he is. <laughs> Fighting for food, the Melanaris rest. <laughs> See if I can get a big chunk and get this uh, marine beta. Where's the clingfish? The clingfish is right there. Oh yeah, this is our clingfish. He's really cool. You can see how aggressive he is at eating. <laughs> Just... It's like a saltwater pleco, except he doesn't eat algae, so he really gives no benefit. But he is cool. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get this guy to... There, there it goes. goes. Oh, we got a cleaner shrimps down in here. That's a big old chunk of food right there. Carl fish was like, mine. And fish looking for more. <laughs> So yeah, this is what they call a mixed reef. It's got LPS, SPS, and soft corals. Um, and this honestly takes more work than Anything all the else. stuff in the basement combined, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Gotta be on it 24 seven. Now it's super stable, but when you start it, ugh. It's enjoyable and I love having it, but it is sure a lot of work when you first start it out. See if the dendrophilia wants to. Yeah. Well, sea stars starting to come out a little bit above it. Oh yeah, here's a starfish down here. Go ahead and get some. Uh, let me get some food for the starfish. You can see his legs sticking out. Mhm. Mm see him grabbing it. Come here, shrimp. Get off. Leave him alone. <laughs> That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching with us. I know this was a little bit longer than most of our videos and it wasn't really as like planned. I don't know. I guess, yeah. it wasn't as much of like a straight topic, but we wanted to give everybody some insight into what it actually takes to care for, you know, over 70 animals. So I know we didn't get every spider on film, but we still tried to at least talk about everyone we had and at least try to feed everything that we had so that you guys could see it. And if you like videos like this, turning around exotic animals, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And also check the link down below in the description to go to our merch store, our Discord, all that good stuff. Instagram. Right, Instagram. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about that. <laughs> right now in our merch store, we're running a 10% off if you go to order a shirt, a hat, whatever it is, 
Use code FALL10 to get 10% off your next order. All right. Yeah. No. Thanks again, guys. And we will see, see you next time. time.